All right. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Is this hello. Is this Dark Admiral? All right. I have to step say. One. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do anything else, step one. Uh, turn off the stream so it doesn't echo. Step two. What are your pronouns? I don't have any pronouns. I'm, I'm just a guy. Okay, none. A guy. Okay, so I'll just put guy. Guy, guy, self. All right, there we go. We got guy, guy, self up on here. All right, guy. Now, one more, one real quick, one more little request. Can you just give me a quick test, test, test so I can gauge your audio levels? Uh, test, test, test. Yeah, I got to turn you down just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. All right, there we go. That should do it. Uh, so, all right. You have an issue with the uh, unbelievably ironclad take that I just unleashed on stream. It's, uh, it's the take that you think that the fear monger that oh, the trans genocide th that would imply that most of the trans death are due to the fact of uh, discrimination on, from civilians, but forty one percent of that death is from suicide from other little factors that play oh, into it. Okay, so wait, so with you coming in here and dropping the uh, the forty one percent. Uh, meme. Let me just explain to my audience what that is. 41% uh, is a dog whistle. It is an out-of-date statistic about the rate of trans suicides. Uh, it is frequently utilized by Nazis. Uh, it is not a accurate, nor is it a, uh, nor is it in and of itself an argument. So, um, uh, so you're just really stupid then, is basically what you're saying. I mean, you can use the ad hom if you want. That's on you. I mean, that's but not an ad hom. I'm just like, I'm asking you if you are. I'm just asking you well, if you are stupid. Well, an ad hom is when like you, you try be. to insult someone to try to discredit them than actually engaging their point. Well, no, actually, an ad hom is when you substitute an insult for an argument. I was just asking you if you were stupid. But I understand. I know I can now. You've answered the question intentionally or otherwise. Um, so when you say, when you, when you come in here and you say this little, like, 41% meme, uh, you're saying that because, uh, because of, because there's a lot of trans suicides, that that means that it can't be a, uh, that it can't be a genocide? Is that, that's the argument you're trying to make? I'm saying that the genocide, right, because in this day and age, a lot of people like to rephrase certain terms like back then when you say nazi like during the 1800s they would think hitler right but nowadays when you think nazi you you think of people with uh, a certain type of view that's anti-semitic it's just like uh, that's rephrasing and redef in the 1800s in, in the 1800s like i don't like hitler was born in like the late 1800s so no actually uh, well it's well, I don't. I didn't fucking study like like a fucking history and all that shit. It was, it was during the yeah, whole. I mean, it's clear that you life. didn't you didn't study anything um, at all. Uh, also, what does that have to do with anything that we're what talking about? What it has about to do here? with is that. Wait, now did you wait? Hold on. Wait, 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 before you go off on a big old train, real quick. Did you watch the segment that I just did? Were you watching while I explained explicitly why I believe that uh, that um, yeah, that there's an that ongoing did, genocide? That, okay. I'm gonna, I was going to engage that right now. Is that okay? What you're doing is you're changing what the genocide really is into like being discriminated against. And like, because in my opinion, no, 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 genocide no. is like true. what we did to the Indians, where we killed a bunch of Indians to take this land by giving them smallpox. That's genocide by purposely wiping them all out in a big ordeal. Okay. So hold on. Uh, uh, two things, real quick. First of all, um, uh, okay, so first of all, oh wait, is it true? Did you just get banned from my YouTube chat for saying who cares about minorities? Jewel rules. I never said Jewish who cares about my <laughs> minorities. I oh, said no. who cares. Let me say this. I said who cares about people who live in Florida, a state where your cars can get washed away as a norm. Anyone? Okay, who that's lives that's in Florida that is, is a remarkably that is a remarkably childish response to uh, people being very, very rightfully concerned about the state of an absolutely unbelievable and unforgivable. I said, I said in, the, in this comment itself, the state's yeah. a shithole either way, so I don't know why they would be surprised. Oh, okay. So, so, so if you were in Florida and somebody like skinned you alive, you wouldn't care because, you know, Florida's a shithole anyway? I would rather be homeless than live in Florida. Okay. So, so yeah, again, uh, you're just, you just don't think very deeply about things. Um, so first of all, uh, when when for the entire like last hour and a half of my stream which you claim you have watched i went through the current and former definitions of genocide uh, just so you know the term genocide was coined in 1944 the term genocide was created 
to attempt to describe the uniquely horrifying uh, conditions that led up to the Holocaust and the Holocaust itself. So um, what I used was uh, all of those definitions and I very clearly outlined how the current laws and the current uh, acts of both discrimination and the rhetoric that's on display very clearly fit the definition of genocide. You just, you're so just like, you, you only, so, okay. your, your definition so, of genocide is basically, well, it doesn't look like that World War II movie I watched one time. But, but you actually didn't, you, you don't actually, you, you can't seem to actually formulate what part of the definition of genocide I am, I am, I am on the wrong on. Now, you're saying that, all right, let's, let's start, start at this point. You said that trans are being discriminated against. Yes. Now, are they, are trans people able to get a job at the same rate as everyone else? No. That's been extremely well studied what companies or corporations are being transphobic because i'm pretty sure in this day and age if you're even caught doing anything transphobic they'll pull out all advertisers associating with that said company well that's that's nice that you live in a fantasy land that was sold to you by i don't know like uh steven crowder or whatever but actually as it turns out there have been numerous studies uh, uh across the united states studying the employment of trans people and trans people have a experience a a uh, highly disproportionate amount of workplace discrimination and also uh, uh, routinely uh, experience uh, heightened levels of, un of, uh, of unemployment and extended periods of unemployment. As it turns out, discrimination against trans people is uh, extremely, extremely difficult to crack down on because people don't say I'm being discriminatory against trans people. They just see someone who looks trans and they go, I'm not hiring that person. However, by studying the amount of trans people who are trying to get jobs and who are unable to get jobs while their cis uh, you know, compatriots are not having that same struggle. We have been able to reveal that actually, yes, in the United States, employment discrimination against trans people is quite extreme. And since I, I know you were definitely listening super, super well in the last segment, I will remind you that uh, uh, prior to the presidency of uh, the incredible Joe Biden, uh, you know, Dark Brandon, before the, his presidency, Donald Trump had formally banned trans people from one of the biggest employers in the entire world, the United States military. So the United States military had a formal and explicit ban against trans people. Do you so know why that was? So you're just so wrong. I don't care why it was. Why does because it matter they what were, the reason they was? they were abusing the right to wait, where... You just... The, wait, no, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. You just came in here and said that, that you didn't believe the discrimination was happening. Now, That's I have proven to you... I have proven to you... Them. Yes, it is. The, I have proven to you the discrimination did happen, and you are now pivoting to a completely different argument. Can you no, please address the fact... You can you please address the fact that you were... You the, the why military. doesn't matter. The why does not matter. Context not, absolutely matters. No, it does not. You you said that discrimination against trans people does not exist. I have proven to you that it does. The why does not matter. That is a completely separate issue. The the fact they got banned from the military, which is not banned anymore, by the way. Yes, I said that. that. I said that. I know you're struggling to listen, but I said that already. And I love the fact that you want to paint me as a Republican when I think Republicans are fucking retarded as well. I'm, I think both of the parties well, don't care about any then, of the civilians. Maybe, have I you think, considered that maybe that's why I'm identifying you as a Republican then? Well, I guess you identify anyone who's Republican that dare not have the same viewpoint because that's why I know there's a pattern of what a lot of Democrats like to do. Like use every uh, ISPO, I mean, uh, everything I they can label I didn't on them. Say, like, actually, by the way, I know, I know I you haven't done it yet, but well, I, I haven't I, said at all that you're a Republican. I mean, like not even a little. I didn't even insinuate you're a Republican. I did say you're stupid because it's pretty. You said clear I that listened to Stephen Crowder, who whose main audience is Republicans. Well, I don't know his main his main audience is something else. Maybe maybe the first terminology you used was more accurate for what his audience is. But either way. Now, okay. you, so are you, you, are you ready to like say anything? They, they we're not allowed to go in one job. Okay. Now, wait, that's not one, one job. I wait, wait, stop it, stop it. Don't be, don't be stupid. I wait. You said trans discrimination doesn't exist. I brought up that there have been extensive studies of this, and that yes, every single major, uh, major entity that is able to research. Uh, labor has concluded that yes, trans people and gay people experience an uh, an inordinate amount of job 
discrimination, and you ignored that. And then I pointed out the fact that on the books, on the federal level, there was an explicit discriminatory ban against trans people, and you tried to shrug both of those off. This is why I don't think that you're a serious intellectual interlocutor, and instead, you probably just hate trans people. That's my suspicion. I don't know that for sure. Um, now, I never said trans people aren't, aren't discriminated. Of course, you're going to have some discrimination against trans what i said was is that are they discriminated against to where they're not able to have the same opportunities yes. as your average day american like african americans or or even white people every, every every ethnicity across the board quick question uh every ethnicity across the board uh is allowed access into the military right uh i believe so i i'm not sure about russians right now i'm not sure if they're allowing russians at the moment into the military with the conflict but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna just pretend you didn't say that but it's okay uh so you acknowledge then that trans people who were uh as of about a year and a half ago banned completely from the military did not have access to the same uh to the same rights the, and the same opportunities that other americans you literally answered your own question and you just won't acknowledge it well they're and a year and a half ago, true. But I'm living in present, present time right now. So, so wait, no you think banned. that like you think that the fact that that a year ago by executive action there was a federal level ban on trans people, and now Joe Biden took that away. But if a Republican gets in, they're almost assuredly going to do it again. You think that's like a like a win for you? A Republican you think that, like, do it you again? think that you think that a year? Okay, let me ask you this: If you were, if you were, um. Do you work a job right now? Do you have a job? Uh, yeah, I work for my father's company. You work for your dad's company? Yep. Okay. So, uh, you have a so you're like a nepotism hire then? Uh, I guess you could say that. Whatever. Okay, so, uh... yeah. So, what what if you didn't work for your dad? What if you weren't like a nepotism hire? What if instead you had a job and you were responsible for paying bills and one day you were banned? because of a federal declaration from working at that job, the job that you had skill and talent for. Um, and then also it turns out that lots of other jobs took that as a sign that it was also okay for them to discriminate. You couldn't get yourself a job. And uh, maybe you did eventually get yourself a job, but for a year or so, you couldn't find work. How fucked would you be? You'd probably be pretty fucked, right? Most people would be pretty if, fucked if they had to pay their bills happens, and couldn't get a job for a year. If anything, I would look into why they chose to ban it, and they showed actual proof that it was for a specific reason that they're abusing a certain group, of, certain people in that small group were abusing a certain privilege and the waste our taxpayers to pay for their trans surgeries instead of them paying. I don't it know themselves. what I, I I literally don't know what you're talking about. Oh, like because the military, uh, you get like, free health care. No, no, you're just you're, you're rambling you about something healthcare. completely they, unrelated. Trans people are going to military to get free trans surgeries, and that was putting a lot of money on our taxpayers, and that's why they banned it. Do you because, do you have any? Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Is this just a fantasy that you made up? I don't. I'm not aware. I want to know what's the what's the what's the like yearly average cost to t to taxpayers for trans surgeries. Because you've made an argument here that trans people are like a tax burden, but can you tell me how much? No, I'm money not saying trans year? people are tax burden. I'm saying the ones ah, that are going to military. Well, you just did. You just did. Abuse. Don't don't lie. You just did. Now, what you're trying to do is you're trying to fucking put me in a corner and try to you know mix my words up. What I said. No, was, I'm not trying to put you in a corner. I'm asking you a direct what? question. You have made a claim. Back it up. Do you have evidence that says that trans people are a outsized cost in the military? I can get you right now once. One yeah, please. Yeah. I would love to because um because it would be really interesting. I would be really surprised. Um, seeing as how uh trans people make up um somewhere around one percent of the, a little bit less than one percent of the population, it would be really surprising if uh, if if that person if like one per less than one percent of trans people was able to create an outsized uh medical cost. Also, you know, it's really interesting. Doesn't the military cover Viagra? Viagra. Oh wait, it does. It does cover Viagra. I wonder if there was a number I could look up real quick. Quick, military costs Viagra. Oh, let's take a look. Why does the military buy so much Viagra? Apparently, uh, the Pentagon spends over eighty-four million dollars a year just on Viagra, and there's a lot more cis men who need Viagra than there are trans people who need HRT. 
So it almost sounds like you're existing in a fantasy land and that you don't actually have a number to provide me. That you just sort of made it up off of your feelings. They spent a total of 15 million just for 1,800 oh, 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 troops. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's, be, let's be clear about this. The Pentagon has spent $15 million in the past five years to treat 1,892 transgender troops. So over five years, they spent $15 million. Uh, dollars. Now, if you'll notice, in the literal first... Oh, I'm just going to put this up on the screen so that other people can see real quick. I'm going to show you. This is interesting. This is from military.com, which, as far as I understand, is like the a magazine that is run for the military. I don't know if this is like official, uh, but it is It is a, a fan magazine, basically. But real quick, uh, the Pentagon has spent $15 million in the past five years to treat 1,892 transgender troops, including $11.5 million, million dollars for psychotherapy and 3.1 million for surgeries. Wow, that's interesting. So over the course of five years, most of it was for therapy. Now you wanna know what's interesting about therapy? Everybody gets therapy in the military. So it isn't unique to trans people that they would be paying for that. So you failed to do a good job because last I checked annually, the military spends eight, $84 million per year on just Viagra alone, nothing else, just Viagra, 84 million per year, and you've cited all of the trans people in the military, all of their healthcare, including their psychotherapy and their medical, uh, their surgical costs, was a grand total of 15 million over five years. So if we wanna break that down a little further, that would be three million per year for, to pay, to, it is only three million dollars for the military to pay every year for all of the trans people, but every single year they pay 84 million for Viagra. Do you understand how you are living in a fantasy land where you are pretending- I'm saying that they have the right to choose what they want to spend the taxpayer's money on. Oh, okay, so if they, so if the military, you would be okay if the military say, said that they didn't want to pay for, you know, uh, black people, black people in the military's healthcare. You would be okay with that? It doesn't matter who what they choose because ah, at the end of the day, that's interesting. At the end of the day, what about uh, what about white people? What if they? What if one day they just said the military just said if, no, we are if no longer. my way, the military wouldn't be covering the health care of anybody in the military. In fact, hmm. they should have health insurance like every other American. Because what it does is stigmatize that. Oh, if you, if you're someone who's poor and you can't afford health care, join the military. You'll get free health care. So then you're you're pretty much sacrificing yourself, putting yourself at risk just to get free health care because you come from a family who can't afford actual health care. Okay. That that was neither that was not even an answer. That was not even like close to an answer to the question that I asked. Are you like are you having a conversation with yourself or are you like having a conversation no, with No, what me? you said was because you're trying to try to, you know, label as racist if I said, "Oh, you don't care about no, black I'm people." No, I'm not. I'm help. trying to make a direct I'm, point. It's super I'm easy. Not, I know Wait, wait, no, listen, I'm, bro, 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 bro. Listen, I know you're racist. I know for a fact that you're a racist piece of shit. There's no way that you come into my chat quoting uh 41% memes and that you're not a racist. I'm asking you so that we can illustrate a point so that I can hopefully reach you that when you say that you think it's okay for the military to pay for whatever the hell they want, that you're okay with discriminating against trans people because you have something against trans people. If it was, say, white people that were discriminated against in the military, you probably wouldn't think that was okay. Or maybe you would. I don't know. I you wouldn't sound kinda, care. You sound kind of a little bit like, a, like you don't really like, like maybe your thoughts in your head aren't really like clicked together like most people, you know? I wouldn't care if, if they discriminate against everyone in the military, honestly, because in the military, you're there for one reason. You're there to uh, shut up and listen and take orders. You, you, don't, you lose most of your rights when you join the military. You, you, don't, you can't speak about really anything goes on in the military and shit like that. So lose that right. What's again, wrong once again, you were, you were talking about something completely unrelated to the topic. I'm pointing out the either fact. way, either way. No, 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 not either way. I'm pointing out that specifically you're ignoring the actual topic at hand to go on some random rant about your feelings on the military. I don't care about your feelings on the military. Listen, I've listen, been this if you want me to say that, do I care if they discriminate against black people in the military? No, I don't. Do I care if they discriminate against white people in the military? No. 
Okay, there you go. So you just believe that it's okay for the military to discriminate however they they however they desire, uh, even if it's completely slanted, even if it's blatantly racist, even if it's blatantly sexist. Why should we ever listen to you on your opinions on anything? Like you just seem to not give a shit. You seem like the what? like like the military, oh whatever. It's okay. Because the military, you have a choice to put yourself to that discrimination. Now, when it comes to trans, like, you know, the HRT stuff, now, you have a lot of things in the trans community trying to push down to children, like Keppel's having, like, promoting a, a brand that makes homemade HRT, giving it to minors. Oh, uh, can you, um, to... so wait, so wait, so wait, hold on, I want to, I want to analyze these claims. That's a really weird claim to make in this conversation, I just hope you know. Like, it's really, really weird to, like, bring up Keffels in a conversation about, about uh, discrimination, well, like that's, that's very well, strange. She's but to be wait, a wait, 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 let me get the fucking link right now. They're, either way, what they're doing, they're because I hope you're not. I hope you're not referring to DIYHRT.org, the the site that uh that formerly Keffels was partnered with. That would be a it would be a real shame if you were lying about that, and I could bring it up on stream and prove how wrong you are. DIY was a site that was made where Keffels used to. She linked it right. If you look yeah, at the exposed thing from Destiny, she linked screenshots. Wait, 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 what do you Keffles. mean we looked at the exposed thing from Destiny? What do you mean? Who, Listen, who, who are you let talking me finish. about? I didn't watch let that. Let me finish. Let me finish. She was DMing the link to that to that site to miners to where miners could then buy the HRT with the, with the parents' credit card or whatever and then do it themselves and then do a rent some and, and comprehensible damage to their body. Okay. That's, Wait, wait a second. Hold on a second. There's a couple of things. There's a couple of things that just aren't adding up right now. It's a little bit weird because um, I'm on the DIY HRT wiki that you that you're talking about right here, and actually, you can't buy anything on this website. In fact, yes, this website. Yes, you wonder why they took it all down after they got exposed oh, from the Destiny uh, Twit longer. Oh wait, really? So if I go and I look in the archive, you're telling me that I'll be able to find like I'll be able to buy things from here. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm, 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 I don't really like, I'm, I'm just joking. I already know the answer. You're lying. The DRT, DIY HRT wiki has never sold anything ever. They have only ever been a harm reduction resource. They provide information on how to safely use these drugs if you make that decision, because their goal is not to encourage people to use DIY, but to let them do it safely. You ever heard of harm reduction? It's a literally worldwide recognized tactic. If people are going to do uh, something on their own, if they're going to self-medicate, which some people have to because they have no other option, um, you should do it safely. It's interesting that you would lie and say that, first of all, I mean, you made a lot of claims. You claimed that Keffels was, like, DMing people and selling them drugs, but you don't have any evidence of that. I would love to see evidence of Keffels DMing people to buy drugs, but I, I know you don't have that. I know that evidence doesn't I, exist, because that's evidence, not what happened. To, wait, wait, this is a fiction. Whole video on it. Wait, this is a fiction that you have made up. This is a fiction that you've, or maybe you bought into it. I don't know. You don't really seem like you have quite the mental I mean, capacity the, to make the it Discord up yourself. The DMs don't lie. Or her freaking linking the site to her fans and stuff, telling them, telling the seventeen-year-old minors. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You you've your changed drugs. your claim. It's interesting. You've changed your claim. Originally, you said that she was pushing. Uh, illegal hormones to minors. Now you're saying that she shared a link to a harm reduction website to wait, her wait, followers. Wait, wait, wait. Those are two very that, different things. Wait, wait, wait. How is that different? If I were to link you a site that has child porn, and is that not me pushing child porn onto other people? What, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck are you talking about? Why are you talking it's about the same child porn? Thing. Bro, what are you talking about? It's an analogy. What the fuck you is wrong an with you? But what is that analogy? Why are you talking because about sending, sending child porn to people? That, that Wait, real quick question, real so quick question. Quick question. Have you sent child porn to people before? <laughs> okay, buddy, if you want to go with that, I mean, you can, but tread carefully because uh, 
I do have money. If you do call me a pedophile, I'll fucking find your doc's information and sue your ass. Well, that was an interesting change of of pace. So you're are, are you are you saying you're you're? I just wanted to so get it clear. So let's see if you just wait wait. Let me just be clear. Down. Wait, let's you just you just have the gonads and fucking wait, wait, do it real, and actually fucking quick. slander me and real then have quick. it recorded of real, all things real quick. and have it in libel real proof quick. report. Let me just get this clear. You just on video. You uh, let me just get your username here real quick. You Dark Admiral four three seven just just publicly threatened to dox me. No. Uh, Well, that was easy. That was an interesting one. Yeah, he hung up or something, or he got banned from the Discord. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, there you go, everybody. The average, uh, average trans genocide denier. By the way, uh, this is the company that people who deny genocide keep, by the way.